Why, hello, and welcome to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zelda Iron Shield, and today I just felt like it'd be fun to make a video on debunking some false rumors about the Lord of the Rings Online that I've heard for many years. Now, quick little, you have to know about me real fast. I've been playing the Lord of the Rings Online since its very first week it came out. So I've been here since the very beginning, so I was able to see all of both sides of the rumors, and again, these are a lot of these are my opinions and views, so take them with a grain of salt. Of course, I don't want to be doing the opposite and trying to convince you of other things that you know what I mean. But again, I know what I'm talking about with a lot of this stuff. So with no further ado, let's talk about it and get right into it. So first questions I hear a lot over the many years. All right, so I'm going to talk about two different things. Update, this is 2022 in real world time of the Lord of the Rings Online. So you know what date it is when I make this video. So I'm going to talk about right now what's going on with Lotra because it's very exciting. So this is, even though it's debunking, it's still going to be a very positive video. I like to be very positive. So if you do enjoy this, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, but there's my little minute opening and straight into the questions. So I've got written down so I don't forget. Um, the big one is, is the game dying? This is asked a lot. Oh, Lord of the Rings Online, the game is dying. I've heard this for years. The game is dying. All right, guys, let's debunk this right off the bat. No, it's not dying. It is absolutely not dying. In fact, it's growing tremendously right now for several reasons, and I will explain them real quick to you. Um, big reasons it's, not, it's growing right now is the um, they did a huge free-to-play update. I would like to say that Lord of the Rings Online has always had one of the best free-to-play systems of any MMO. They were one of the pioneering games in free-to-play systems way before, now the model for free-to-play in video games is huge. It's in every game, right? It's in League of Legends. It's in every, you know, um, Apex. I, you know, I could list like 50 games that are like the popular ones, right, right now. And I play a lot of them, but it's it's all free to play systems everywhere now but lord of the rings online is one of the first ones to implement the free to play system now the game is better played with vip with paying subscription like normal so again to answer the question is the game dying no it is not so there's question one the game is most definitely not dying in fact it is growing immensely right now also because of whether you will like or dislike the amazon lord of the rings tv series whether it is good or bad for everyone, it is gonna bring people to Lotro both ways, which is a nice comment I got from someone once. They're like, if it's good, people are gonna come play Lotro. If it's bad, people are gonna come play Lotro because Lotro does a wonderful job staying very true to Tolkien. So it's a great game. The stories are amazing. Um, so yes, it is not dying, you guys. It is w at one of its biggest growth points in its lifetime right now in 2022 okay and also they've done some graphical updates they've done some things it's really awesome we'll talk about that more in a minute with the next questions but it is looking great it's a great game it's always been a great game you guys that's the thing like i've always there's always these rumors and i want to debunk them because they kind of drive me crazy as someone who knows this stuff right i could be called an expert but i'm not going to call myself an expert all right but i have the time and experience in this game i've played this game for well over a year of my life all right next question um is the game um are the servers all dead well there's a player right behind me walking past me and i've had three or four before i started this video so no no, they're not. That is a also, here's a, there's another player. Well, thank you for proving my point, everyone, on my server. Um, and this is not even a super populous time of the game, time server I'm on. But again, guys, no, they are not. Lord of the Rings Online, the Standing Stones team have done a fantastic job. They've they've combined a few servers to make make sure there's no like deadish servers. But I'm on Crick Hollow, great server. Come play with me. There's links in the description. You can come join the fellowship. Um, but there are other ones that are even bigger than mine. Crick Hollow has a lot of players. That's why I like it. But there's even bigger ones, right? Like Arkenstone and um, the Treebeard Legendary Server and all that, which I do play on as well. So very lots of players they are not dead servers that is and they're growing by the day right now the game's exploding so it's a great time to play it and the free-to-play system is awesome they just updated so then the next question is lotro is old and has bad graphics oh i've heard this so many times i'm i'm making fun of the people who say this okay um sorry to people out there again if you disagree, I'd love to hear your your comments, but do it in a civil way, guys. Don't battle each other in the comments section, okay? It's like people just say mean things in comments sometimes, and I'm like, why would you say that? Like, I, I would love to hear your comments, but don't... This is my opinions. I'm not trying to blast this on you guys, right? I already said at the beginning, this is my opinions, okay? But the game has a fantastic graphic design, okay? Let's just look around here for a second, okay? I'm going to remove this... Look at all these players walking by. 
The game looks great. This is one of the old areas. Some of the newer areas look even better than this, right? I'm. This is just in the middle of Brie. Again, and it's... The thing is that you have to understand that I explain to people a lot when I play this game is the graphical system is designed for an art style, right? And it was made 15 years ago. And by the way, they are updating stuff. That's another thing why the game is growing right now. They are updating things, right? They're updating to try to prevent lag. They're with things from the old system. They're trying to update things that look better. The new areas look even better than this, right? You can look at some of my tour episodes. I'm working on newer ones. Um, it's really good. A lot of times when we have the bad graphics too, it's nice because one positive thing is, is this game doesn't take a super system. I have a super system now. I can play this game on max everything. But if you don't have a super system, you can still play this game. Now, it looked it used to look really bad, and I'm gonna show you right now, okay, just for fun, all right? Here's what it didn't even, okay. So you see what it looks like right now? It still looks decently good, actually. It looked so bad when I first started playing this game, right? Again, I still love the art style. I still thought it was pretty, but to say that the art style hasn't, the game hasn't kept up with the times, with the graphical systems and stuff and the times, it, it's definitely kept up with the times. Now, again, it's not gonna look like Elden Ring or, you know, these, I'm thinking the most brand new games, right? Or um, Horizon, you know, um, what, yeah, Horizon, the game. Uh, Zero Dawn, right? That's the one. All these games that have amazing graphical engines with the newest systems. It's not gonna look like that. But again, most people who play this game aren't playing it for that. We're playing it for the story, the community, the awesome gameplay, because it still has really good gameplay. Um, again, you guys, it's more of a classic MMO style, right? So let's move on to the next question so we don't make this video too long. Um, and then, so no, the, the game, even because it's old, it doesn't mean it's a bad game. There's a lot of games that are really old that are great games, guys. Like, let's think of like the GameCube, like Mario Smash Bros, right? Ooh, that's an old game, you guys, it's really old now, and yet we all still love it. You know you all love it, you know it, right? Same thing with Lotro, okay, in my mind. Um, and again, it's up to your view on what you like. Lotro doesn't aim to make the graphics look like they're real, like new games are aiming for, right? New games are trying to make graphics look as real as the real life are real life, right? Where Lord of the Rings is trying to make it look real, but aiming from their graphic, from their art style. Again, you don't look at a piece of art that's not designed to be realism and say, oh, that doesn't look real. I don't think it looks good. No, you're like, oh, that's a really beautiful piece of art. I see why it's very, you know, the art style and blah, right? When you look at things, you know? And again, you're not, not everyone's gonna like every art style, right? Right? Okay. But anyway, moving on for the next question with debunking false rumors. Let's get into some good ones here, okay? How um, the pay system, right, the, for the game, and it's old and bad, right? Like how the system works with VIP and all that stuff. Well, they've really updated you guys. The new free-to-play system is fantastic. Again, like I said, the free-to-play system for Lotro has always been the best one of any MMO. Okay, it was always the best one. It made all the other ones compete with it. It made World of Warcraft compete with it. It made all the newer MMOs that came out later compete with it for a free-to-play system, right? Lord of the Rings is the one that pioneered the free-to-play system on, on MMOs. So, and I've heard people say otherwise, and I'm like, let's just debunk that right now. Because I've been here. I've been here through the whole time. Um, but again... They've just updated it so it's even better, you guys. You can get all the way to 95. Watch my video. Go watch my video on it if you want to know about it right now. About all the benefits to the new free-to-play system, right? Compared to the old one. The old one was good, but the new one is better. And I still, though, recommend Is VIP Worth It? I have a video on that. You should check it out, too. If you want to know about that, I still think it is. I still think the VIP is worth it because that's how the MMOs were meant to be played. And you're supporting your game that you like, right? But again, you can play all the way up to level 95 now, free-to-play very easily. There's not these weird little caps and currency things and level things where you have to buy a new region. That's all been removed in 2022, okay? So very exciting, great time to start the game. If you wanna do free to play, go for it. It's really awesome. So we'll debunk that. Is it bad and old the payment system's bad? No, answer is no, okay? Um, now, this is my own personal one I've really been wanting to talk about for a while now. Are guardians bad, right? Because I see a lot of stuff thrown around on different posts and different people who say stuff who played Lotro for a long time, some of them, but none of them are Guardian players. So, okay, so let's just, let's make it clear right now. No, Guardians are not bad. The Lord of the Rings Online is actually very balanced with classes. With Are there tendencies for certain classes to be more? 
and again, guys, I'm trying to make a direct premise here. Our guardian's bad, okay? That's the premise I'm using. A lot of people, like, use many different premises for things, and I'm just trying to say a lot of people make those comments, and I'm like, just not the case, okay? And I, I get a comment on video sometimes, and I'll be, and be like, oh, guardian DPS is terrible. Why would you ever do that? It's like, because it's really good for soloing and doing quests, and you kill things way faster than you would be as in tank mode, all right? So, it's just... It's not, it's, I think what happens is it's that rumor thing that happens where someone says something and it's the fad, it's the popular thing to say, so then everyone follows along, and now it's in everyone's head that this thing is bad. It, it happens in the world, it happens a lot, but my point, my goal for this little part to you is, even in real life, be careful on what you just suddenly believe when you hear in the popular opinion about something. Make sure you do a little studying yourself, right? Make sure you're not getting your info all from one place. It's really, really careful. Again, I'm one person. You should go get your own info for other stuff too as well. Try out a guardian yourself. See what you think. Um, but I, that is just not true. And DPS for guardians being bad. Again, I do not think the red tree is bad on the guardian. I really don't. I have done all levels of guardians. I have tanked for raids, uh, big dungeons with full tank. I've off tanked. I've done yellow tree where I've tanked lots of ads. And I have done DPS guardians in big raids, okay? If you do it right, guardians can do a lot of damage. Now, from a number system, from the exact number system, can guardians out DPS maybe a hunter or rune keeper or something? No. No, they can't. That it's flat numbers, okay? And people are like, oh, well, that's the difference. But if it's only a 5% difference in damage, it's not gonna really affect that much unless you're all, unless you're trying to cover for some people in your team that have bad armor. But if you have full level gear and all the stuff, no, you can definitely DPS in a raid even. So, and again, with DPSing out in the land and stuff, again, people are gonna freak out. I'm sure people are gonna leave comments and stuff. That's okay, I really don't care. I know probably more than most people with Guardians. I've been a Guardian player since the very beginning. I've done everything with Guardians. So, but you know, my Lotro player friends, everyone out there who's a Lotro player a long time, you know what I'm saying. This happens, little uh, rumors happen, and it's just not really true about the class. So just try out the class, find the class you like to play, then play it, okay? So, again, Guardian's not gonna be for some people, or for a lot of people, but for someone like me, who likes to wield a two-handed ax, and I like to take a lot of damage and survive, or be the tank with a shield, Guardian's great for me, okay? That's what I love. So again, to answer that question, that's to debunk that rumor that Guardians are just bad. Now, could Guardians use a little bit of a buff from the, the Standing Stone teams? Yeah, yeah, they could. Yeah, we, we're kind of having to make up for those slight differences of being the lower end, right, with powers, and I'm not, I'm not telling you guys that Guardians are the best class and they're better DPS than everyone else. That's not what I'm saying. So don't leave a comment like that. Guardians definitely struggle to be the, if they're gonna go DPS to do as much as another class. But again, Guardians are designed to be a DPS class. They're designed to be a tank class, which they're very good at. Now, the issue there is that sometimes people are like, oh, well, captains, they can have more HP, they can do all this stuff. Yeah, it is. it depends on the raid too though. It depends on the mechanics in the raid, what's better for the classes, because guardians are sometimes better at taking more heavy hits from certain characters. But again, that's where Standing Stones could maybe buff guardians just a little bit to make sure that little tiny bit of discrepancy there can be fixed, right? So anyway, that kind of gets it off my chest because that's something that's been bothering me. So that's a little, I want a false rumor to debunk. Lotro actually has rather balance, good balance with classes. Now there's a few classes that could use a couple little buffs to make them a little better, to be on par with everybody else 100%, but it doesn't make them bad. That's that's what I'm trying to say. It doesn't make them bad, okay? And again, I don't think, our, I think my Guardian DPS can keep up with most players, right? Now again, I have experience. I know exactly where to stand. I know exactly where to hit. What chains of skills to use to, to be the most efficient. Those are things that maybe are harder on other, easier on other classes, right? So, but again, Guardians are not that hard to play, I feel like. They're not a super high skill level class, um, except when it comes to knowing your mechanics for tanking. That's where it comes in. It's more of knowledge of raids and what your skills do. That's when you're, it comes in. So anyway, that's debunking that with Guardians. If you're still here, thank you so much. All right, moving on to the next question. Um, is the Lotro community toxic? No, no. Any Lotro player out there immediately knows that is false, with, right, without a doubt. This is for newer players to know. 
Low Truck Community is one of the best communities out there for any video game. I've always been impressed ever since the beginning. If you have a need, you say something in the world chat, people will answer you and help you immediately. Um, if you say, I really need help, like for example, if you watch one of my battle videos with the Rift, I was like, hey, does anyone want to help me do the Rift? Because I need two people at the end. You need to stand and click these buttons. And I had like four people volunteer to come join me for fun just to finish my video, right? And they didn't know I was doing a video. I told them though, but they didn't even know when they volunteered, right? So it's just like, that's really cool. The community in Lotro is fantastic. It's one of the reasons just to play it. But to debunk anyone who thinks otherwise, the Lotro community is fantastic compared to other games that I'm not saying the other games have all bad communities, but where that, you know, they might have a little bit more of um, the toxicness, <laughs> as some people call it, right? Where people get angry, easily angry, which is never the full community of people in a video game. But some video games have a reputation for being easier to be, um, have a toxic group or frustration or something, right? Which we do know it, it happens, right? I won't name the video games I know that of, but I have experienced other video games as well. Um, and then we have, is the, um, the game, the end game, getting to the end game, is it bad? Is the end game bad? Is it flexible? Can you do whatever you kind of want with heroes? We already went into this really what I just said about classes that really any class you play will be good end game. Will there be classes that will people will want over others? Occasionally, but rarely as a player who's been playing this game for 15 years, have I ever had someone be like, no, I, I can't have you because you know, you're this class. I want this class, right? That that happens so rarely. I think it may have happened one time ever. And I think I had the other class. I played the other class anyway <laughs> at that point. But um, but that's usually the only time that will happen in an end game is if someone, let's say someone has, you know, they have five guardians and they're like, okay, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> we need healers. We need, you know what I'm saying? That won't work, obviously. I'm just talking about like, filling a rollout, right? Like instances, DPS guardians, no one is gonna complain if you offer to come do an instance as a DPS guardian for a regular three or six man instance. You're gonna be able to do it, no problem. Guardians will have plenty of damage. Now, if it's a big, big raiding group, maybe, maybe they'll be like, well, we'd prefer you to go tank. If you're, can you tank for us? That's, you have to be flexible, right? And you're a guardian, you, you're, your main role is being a tank. So yes, you tank, right? So um, again, those are the kind of things you have to think about. But yes, the end game is great in the Lord of the Rings Online. It's very fun. Um, now there's more people coming into the game. There is some good monster play versus PvP zone, which is the PvP zone. This game is more not heavily based on PvP. It's more based on the end game doing raids and doing stuff like that. But there is a really cool PvP zone. And I really hope that they keep putting more into that because it's a great thing. But really it just needs people. And some servers have great PvP in the monster player zone. I think Crit Hollow we have some fighting too that happens. I'm usually making videos for you guys. So I haven't been doing PvP at all in the last couple months. But um, I used to do tons back in the day. So um, when I played this more in high school, this game. Still play it so much, I love this game. Uh, all right, so next question to debunk is, um, is it the bad UI, the bad UI settings, okay? All right, um, yeah, there are some things, okay? Let's admit, there are some things in Lotro that have bad UI stuff, but realistically, when I click on this and look at this, this is your character panel, it's pretty self-explanatory. You have your details on your stats here, you have your things. There's a few things I complain about sometimes, all right? Where like, uh, when you click on a, a jewelry piece, a ring, right click it to replace, it only replaced the top slot, so you have to drag to the bottom slot, the other ring, to switch it. That's a little bit of annoying UI thing. Um, there's a little bit more older fashioned things with commands, with like saving your profile and stuff, which I have a video on that if you wanna know how to do it. But it's really easy, it's like one command. Now, could they fix that and change that up? Sure they could. But I think they don't really wanna mess with that. They wanna work on other things because they don't wanna break the game. Because why fix it if it's not broken, right? It works just fine. But again, I don't think the UI settings are, I, I, I wanna debunk the fact that people are like, don't play it because the UI settings are bad. Look at all these players running by. Um, that's, it's debunked, okay? The UI settings are not so bad that you can't play the game. It's just, they're not. There's a few tiny little things here and there. It's really not a big thing. And they've been updating stuff too, by the way. Standing Stones has been updating different things with the UI and it's been very nice, very good updates, especially with housing and stuff. So let's debunk that. Don't don't get yourself stopped from playing the game because of that, because it's not an issue. It's not a big problem. All right, another one, lag and rubber banding. Okay, 
So now, this is a, they've been working on this, this is a real thing, but I rarely get it anymore. I used to get lag and rubber banding all the time in Lotro. Like, it was like, it was like, we're almost unplayable. Backlist, I'm talking like six years ago, seven years ago, right? It doesn't do that anymore, okay? Now, again, sometimes it has to do with um, your character. And by the way, do you see him slightly, that slight little boop, boop, boop when he's turning and he stops? Sometimes that's more of info being sent to me from him. He probably didn't lag at all. Like when he was running, it was smooth. That's more of a information being sent to my camera behind me, okay? So again, it doesn't really happen very much, but that was a good example as he walked by. <laughs> but um, but for you rubber banding and like freezing or where you can't use skills and suddenly you're just standing there, it does happen. It happens in occasional areas of the game sometimes, but it, it it's, so, it's so rare for me. Now I have it happen like once out of every like, 10 times I play maybe 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 less than that it's really it's not a reason you shouldn't play the game is my point point. and a lot of times when you if you're having lag and stuff it's probably not their servers it's probably maybe your internet or your system having troubles there is some stuff they've got to fix with their they have a thing where um the the older engine still uses only like one cpu core to run the game so when they update that which I, I'm assuming they will update that pretty soon see he had no problem with me um, that will go away too. So again, they're working very hard to update things. Sandy Stones is really saying, they're saying they're working hard on that. I have noticed changes as a long time player who plays constantly. I've seen the updates, the changes. So that is definitely changing. That will be, and they realize they're getting a huge influx of players because of their free to play updates and graphical updates and the new Lord of the Rings Amazon series coming out. And this game is Lord of the Rings, guys. What more is there to say besides it's Lord of the Rings? So anyway, those are my questions that I wanted to put out for this video. And now I'm gonna have a very positive video about why you should play Lotro and stuff that will be up there coming up next. Thank you so much for joining this video today on Voice of the Rings. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day in Middle Earth. And I wanted this to be a positive thing of debunking stuff. Again, please leave comments, be civil about it, uh, be nice about it. I would be happy to answer questions, even people that maybe disagree with things. I'd be happy to, you know, oh, I, I, that's a good point, you know, kind of thing in the comments. But be nice about it, guys. Come on, be nice. <laughs> and subscribe must be there if I earned it. And next, uh, my entertainment playlist and stuff will be, Lotro Tale will be right over there on the other side. So you can click those, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. But again, to finish up, before you go, I really do think I just had to get this out. These are things that are, like I've heard my whole life with Lotro and they've never been the case. For example, another thing real quick. Again, I'm not going to put this in the uh, put this as a link or anything with info. I just heard about this a few years ago. Lord of the Rings Online when it was in its low point, everyone was saying it was going to die like three or four years ago. And there were some spots where it was lower players. Absolutely. Right. Every game does that. But um, it had more active players than Guild Wars 2. Like, this is like four or five years ago when I looked at this up. Um, and someone was showing me one of my friends. I was like, oh, and Guild Wars 2 was doing fine, by the way. I'd like to point out they were doing fine. They were Their game was going great. So the point was people were acting like the game had no players in Lotro, and it wasn't true. There was tons. Just depending, and it was certain servers. And at that time, Standing Stones combined a couple servers to make sure that wasn't happening anymore. People had people to play with. But again, you don't really need to have massive groups for most things in Lotro, because they've really designed it where you can do a lot of stuff solo. But again, this game is more fun with friends and there's lots of friends to be had. So again, come join me on Crit Caller, guys. And I will see you all in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. Thank you to my wonderful Patreons for your support. You guys are awesome. And I will see you guys all in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. Subscribe button's gonna be there if I earned it. And the next episode up there will be a more positive why you should play Lotro uh, video and the Lotro Tale My Stuff over there. So check them all out and I'll see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. And hopefully I helped you guys want to play the game more and debunked a few false rumors that have always bugged me over the last 10 years of my life. All right, you guys have a wonderful day in Middle Earth and I'll see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings.